What up, bitches? It's the Misanthropic One, a.k.a. He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Um, I just want to call out more hypocrisy, man, within hip-hop. Um, I know a lot of niggas going to be mad with this shit, but I, I don't give a fuck. Um, this is another video that's going to be using OBS. I kind of like this software because I could show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Oh, God. Um, apparently, uh, Mr. Conscious Snoop Dogg, um, who is woke, just got caught uh, allegedly uh, cheating on his wife with this Instagram thought named uh, Selena Powell. And uh, I'm going to go in on Snoop Dogg for the most part, but uh, let me just say this. Selena Powell isn't innocent in this. She has gone at Offset before from the Migos. She's gone at Chief Keef and Waka Flock of Flame. She's a woman that's somewhat about getting to the next level. I, I think that's a safe assumption. And um, this nigga Snoop Dogg, <laughs> lately he's been one of the biggest hypocrites. I mean, along with Hollywood, I mean, I guess he's part of that whole uh, community. You know, all these Hollywood celebrities try to act like they're so, they're moral compasses. And um, let me just get into this. This, this dude got caught uh, uh, allegedly cheating, you know, and Selena Powell got the receipts, so to speak. So let me jump on this window here and show you what the fuck I'm talking about. And then I'm going to go in because I'm sick and tired of uh, hypocrisy nowadays. Shout out to Hip Hop DX for dropping this article. Yeah, okay, so Selena Powell, the woman who recently admitted to lying about Karen Knox Offset's baby, is at it again. This time she's bringing Snoop Dogg with her. Over the weekend, the Instagram personality, also known as the Black Widow, <laughs> Claims she hooked up with the West Coast gangster rap legend while listening to his gospel album, Bible of Love. She says, we fucked to his gospel album, she tweeted. All right. So um, let's go over here. And as you can see right here, she has uh, the uh, DMs. He was all in her DMs. Saying, hi, right, baby, I was super busy. It's okay, love, I understand. Do you have time soon? Yes. When? I have to see. Hopefully it's seen. I want you. <laughs> Send pics and video, baby. Want you, W. I, I only have that one I sent you, but I'll take some more for now. So there she is sending pictures of her of her tight ass body and this is a video of her facetiming him alright so you see that now, um, this was posted on LovelyTI2002's Instagram, and uh, this is what she says. Once again, Mr. Mushmouth, holier than thou, I'm married to a black queen, has been caught cheating on his so-called queen once again. Of all the people he chose to cheat with, he chose Instagram thought Selena Powell, shaking my head at this foolishness, and he paid her two racks. <laughs> dude and then yeah here's a great uh tweet right here it's funny though snoop dogg is always telling kanye west that he needs a black woman but this is what he does to his black queen by cheating on her with selena powell lol that 
That is such a good point. Now, um, Snoop responds by saying he's going to do a TV show called Clout Chasers and whether or not she should be on it. I'm not going to play that shit. Um, I am going to show you uh, this right here on Celebrity Insider. Hold on. Snoop Dogg couldn't care less about Selena Powell's accusations, which claimed to expose him cheating. Watch his video. So, here he is. He's just singing right here. And smoking a blunt. Alright, so you got the gist of that. Okay? Um, let me say this. Let me go back to this tweet here. Because this just exposes so much. Um, like I read before, this is put down by o Ogichi. It's funny though, Snoop is always telling Kanye West that he needs a black woman, but this is what he does to his black queen by cheating on her with Selena Powell, LOL. Listen, that is 100 fucking percent true. And let this, let this be a lesson to y'all because I know majority of y'all, let me get off this shit, hold on. Let this be a lesson to majority of y'all because... <clears throat> I told y'all about this dude. I told y'all about a lot of these fucking celebrities. You need to separate the art from the artist. Look, I'm not going to shit on Snoop Dogg's discography, especially his first couple albums. Love Doggy Style. That is a classic hip-hop album. I mean, we could debate that. I know, but it's one of those definitive 90 fucking albums. I'm not going to say, I'm not one of these niggas that because I disagree with a dude, now all of a sudden I hate the dude. Or I always hated what he did. I'm not like that. Doggy Style, hands down, one of the greatest 90s albums ever. Check it out. If you don't have it, you need to have that in your hip-hop collection. However, what this dude does as a man, I don't respect. I don't respect the, the super flip-flopping. And I did a video on this. I told y'all about the whole... Uh, you know, oh, Donald Trump was always racist. You know, that's the narrative a lot of Negroes and people in general like to follow, but particularly you Negroes like to follow that shit. He was always a racist guy. But meanwhile, you could just Google Snoop Dogg uh, shaking hands and hugging this dude at his celebrity roast. I mean, <laughs> that when I did the video on that, niggas were mad. Like, no, they, look, call it what it is. You can't sit here and say, that this dude is was always a racist, but meanwhile, here you go, shaking hands and schmoozing with this guy. Nah, I, I'm not buying that shit. So I had to call him on that. This shit, what, what this Ogichi person um, tweeted was 100% true. Pro-blacks nowadays are gravitating towards Snoop Dogg. Oh yeah, he's such a great guy because he's against Donald Trump. And shout out to Truth Teller 410 for that recent video you did, how niggas are now looking at Snoop Dogg as a conscious guy, pro-black dude. Seriously? Like, it, this is a guy who just was talking about, just yesterday, of uh, fucking bitches doggy style and um, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks and busting nuts on your faces and smoking blunts and all this shit. Now all of a sudden, pro-blacks are... Um, gravitating towards this guy because he made a gospel album and now he's woke because he's saying shit that you like to hear i keep telling y'all stop following these fucking celebrities because they get caught up in the same shit that they claim to to be so uh that they're so morally upright for oh kanye west needs a black woman meanwhile you you're you get you're caught in dms with mind you a thought that you should know you're you're an OG and you're getting caught up with a fucking thought 
Now, mind you, she's a good-looking chick. I get it. But you're older. You, again, you're wiser, or you should be. And here you are getting caught up with this shit. And, and going against your, 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 your black queen. You know what I mean? This is why I tell y'all, stop fucking following these celebrities. Yeah, enjoy their uh, art that they give you. But as for being moral comp compasses and holier than now, fuck that shit. I'm calling Snoop Dogg on that. I'm sorry, dude. Love your music, especially your early work, but you, you, you're caught out there. And, I, and look, I respect the whole shit where you're trying to be a G and smoke your, your weed in that, that response. And now you're trying to come out with a show talking about clout chasers and shit. Nah, fuck that. Where's Me Too at, by the way? <clears throat> I know why they're not going to show up. Because, number one, Snoop Dogg's black. They're not, they're, well, let me not say that because they're going at R. Kelly. But they, they're, they're hypocritical. They, they, they're going to pick and choose. you know. And I think that there's also the fact that he didn't... There's, she's not really saying that he did anything to me. But they should be against this too. They should be against, hey, what are you doing? Uh, uh, talking to the start, using her. Where they at? They're not going to be here. They're not going to show up. Um, what else? Yeah, you niggas, you know, and, and let me tell you something. Concerning this fucking Bible of Love album, the reason why I'm not going to buy it, uh, number one, I, you know, I like gospel music, but I'm not really like an avid gospel fan. Like I'm not running around, you know, collecting that shit. That's number one. Number two, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit here and put that in my Snoop Dogg collection and be like, oh man, this guy is so woke. Fuck that. He knows the demographic of gospel music, black women. He knows. He knows once you have that demographic, you good. They're going to forgive all that shit. They're going to forgive all the busting nuts on our hoes' faces and Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. They're going to forgive all that. I know y'all. You're going to forgive it. And you're going to say, oh, yeah, th this guy's great. You know? And, and uh, <laughs> that's it, man. I, I don't know where else to go with this shit. There's so many ways you can go at this shit that, um, yeah, listen. You're a hypocrite. I'm sorry, Snoop. You're a fucking hypocrite. And um, as, a, as a human being, as a moral compass... You're not that, dude. Majority of Hollywood ain't that shit. I mean, look, this is why this is a perfect example. Let this be a lesson to you. Look at that guy in uh, New York, the New York Attorney General, who was pushing for this Me Too thing against uh, Harvey Weinstein. Oh, yeah, we got to go get him. What happened just months later? The same dude that was pushing for this shit, being a fucking uh, woke male feminist, guess what? He gets caught doing the same shit. Same thing with another uh, another guy that was pushing the Me Too movement. I forget his name, but he got caught by the FBI doing the same sexual shit. This is why I tell you, these motherfuckers that sit here and they're holier than thou and they're going ham, you got to question them. You got to sit here and, and look at them. That's why, again, shout out to Slim Thug. When the whole Kanye West shit was going on, he was sitting there and he said it. He goes, y'all are mad at this man for an opinion. You need to look in the mirror. Y'all ain't perfect. And it's fucking true and i don't care what you niggas say i know y'all y'all led by emotions too much instead of sitting here and questioning shit and saying well wait a minute dude what are you doing but anyway quick video uh 15 minutes uh not really quick but just want to drop that shit another reason for me to use the obs software hope you like this shit um shout out to true teller 410 and um that's it everybody else y'all know the deal Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, like, comment, share my shit. And uh, that's it. Peace, bitches.